I have, I have my organization, which is Jordan Riverkeeper, is the only organization in Israel that has Palestinians on its board, Palestinian Arabs, that has Israeli Jews, and that has Jordanian Arabs, the only one. I spent a lot of time with Palestinians, with shepherds, farmers, business people. I've been to Ramallah and met with the Palestinian government. And, I, and for me, the Palestinians are some of the most wonderful, generous people that I've ever met in my life. The, the problem with, with Palestine with that issue is they've been completely betrayed by their leadership. And anybody who doubts that should look at the speech that Prince Bandar of Saudi Arabia gave in 2020. When he got angry, he's been the biggest protector of Palestine for the past 30 years. That's been his passion. The Palestinians finally crossed him, and he gave a speech to his own people, saying exactly what had happened for the first time to all the to the Tava Agreement, the, uh, the the Camp David Accords, the Oslo Agreement, and how the Palestinian leadership, in every case, had sabotaged those agreements, lied repeatedly about it. Yasser Arafat died a billionaire stealing money from his people. Omar Abbas is a billionaire. His sons are 100 millionaires. It is a kleptocracy in that country that doesn't want peace. And every offer of peace that the Israelis extract, you know, what Clinton and Ehud Barak, the offer that they made to give parts of Israel just in exchange for peace, again and again, the Israelis have said, we will give you land, autonomy, anything you want, if you guarantee us peace. The Palestinians have never been willing, been willing to do that. Today, Palestine pays, a, a, a Palestinian authority pays a bounty to anybody in their country who will kill a Jew, a, a kid, an adult. They pay three times the annual salaries for, the average annual salary for life if you kill a Jew. They name their streets after Jew killers. They name their schools after Jew killers. This is not something kids want to hate when they're kids. They are taught to hate. And they're taught to hate because it propagates a war that is making the leadership into billionaires. And it's their interest. And they have destroyed the peace process. And I'm not excusing Israel. See, Israel, you know, Israel, when you're at war, when you're surrounded, they're not in the Israel's nine miles across. The Arab countries outnumber it 600 to 1. And they've all vowed not only to destroy Israel, but to kill every Jew. That is the official policy of Hamas. That is the official policy of the Palestinian Authority. So they, the only thing they had to say is we pledge peace. We'll take, take, take our land, expel all the settlers, give us peace. They've done that again and again, and the Palestinian leadership has always refused. And the admissions they made to Bandar are revealing. So I would urge you to read Prince Bandar's speech because he goes through the chronology, and it's very, very damning.